Anyway, at this moment then, I'd like to um, uh, introduce Arnold um, Mandel. Is that our next uh, point? Uh, so Arnold, um, can we help you join us here? And uh, you can uh, tell us a little bit. Arnold can tell us a little bit about why as a 35-year-old he decided to come to some place with an unpronounceable name, La Jala, he probably never even knew where it was, and uh, start a brand new department of psychiatry in a new school of medicine. Thank you. In 1969. I'd like to just comment briefly on how this came to be. Uh, it, it, this is a department that is almost a department by accident. And I'd like to relate the, the few accidents <laughs> that occurred that were so significant. Now, the, the, the ground here was that psychiatry was going to be, well, not much of a department at all. The plans were, uh, it was the last department to be recruited. It was one of the reasons that they took a chance on such a young whippersnapper with that much FTEs. And there was no clinic for psychiatry. There was no inpatient unit for psychiatry. There was no lab space for psychiatry. Uh, we were supposed to come aboard and sort of monitor things at county hospital and be quiet. Well, they chose the wrong person. <laughs> uh, I had some accidents that led to this. Uh, I first want to point out that the inspiration for the structure of the department and conceptual breadth uh, came from my experience at Tulane with Bob Heath. And if you really want to see a early day of the melding of biological psychiatry and psychodynamics. The book is called The Pleasure Shock by Lone Frank. And uh, this is a fellow that uh, chose me out of the medical class to come and s uh, sit around in his lab. And lo and behold, he had 18 electrodes deeply implanted in 52 in 1952, patients, he, he, when he was brought here, he brought Sander Rado, the psychoanalyst, with him as an influence. He uh, set up a, 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 a research uh, board that did the first chlorpromazine studies. He was so broad in his perspective that when uh, he let me hang out in the department, I saw that as, as what psychiatry was going to be. He established the first biological psychiatry department, and he also established, was, I was part of that, uh, the, bio, uh, the uh, Society for Biological Psychiatry. So this theme of multidisciplinary fusion was very strong in my, in my background. And uh, when I came here, I saw that the, what I saw was a, a space was really an opportunity. And I have to mention that the no clinic turned into the Gifford Clinic when I went out one day and rented a bank building without permission from anybody. <laughs> you can imagine what the chancellor said. Uh, I used pressure inside the faculty to get the pediatrics eight bed inpatient ward away from them to use for us. And then I got the second floor on the basic medical science building, which was the biggest fight, which they didn't figure out what a psychiatry department needed with basic science. So there was a little conflict about my youth and inexperience and so forth, and I was, I was walking down 
uh, the street in, in Washington with Jolly West, who was chairman at UCLA at the time. And he said, how would you like to be chairman of a new department? And I said, what? <laughs> and that's how it started. David Hamburg was another underground, he was at Stanford, another underground uh, promoter. And then locally, George Mandler, it took several people under the table, so to speak, to manipulate me into a sufficient power, power so I could uh, be creative. I, uh, I think that to see this array of people and to watch it, its growth over the years, to watch Lou's wonderful management and person after person that I saw as a youngster mature into some productive, wonderful work and in a psychiatry department that was undefined, really, 50 years ago as such. It's the great, I'm, I'm enjoying this more than anyone. And I, I have to be careful not to feel too ego involved because it happened by itself once it got started. Now the heavy work, as usual, will be conducted, will be reported by Sam, <laughs> who actually is, has, um, is ready to talk about our development. Uh, I want to thank you all for, for who you are and what you've contributed. And uh, it's, it's a lovely way to celebrate uh, my 85th birthday, which is in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs>